Hello and welcome back to Why Not Mint Money. I am Deepthi Bhaskaran and today I am going to move on to the next set of Excel calculations that will help you understand your investments better. In the last episode, we learned how to calculate the rate of return on your investments. Getting a handle on the rate of return is very important because that helps you make sense of how your investments are doing and also enables meaningful comparisons. But what if you want to know how much you can accumulate over the years? Let's see how Excel can help you with that calculation. In order to understand how much you would accumulate over the years, you need to know three things. The first is the amount that you're willing to invest, which can also be called as the present value. The second, of course, is the time period, which on Excel is defined as NPER and the rate at which your money is compounding every year. So again, to calculate the future value or the amount that you would accumulate, we go to FX, you select the financial tool, you want to know how much you would accumulate over the years. So what you're calculating is the future value. Here you go. Now you need to select cells onto this calculator. The rate is 8%. NPER or the time is 10 years. Present value or your lump sum investment is a lag. Please understand that this is indicated by a negative figure, which basically means this is a cash outflow. This is how much you're willing to invest. Type is again in the beginning or at the end of the year. We are pressing one, which is for beginning. And here you go. So you would accumulate 2,15,893 rupees. This is the amount that you would accumulate over a 10 year period if your money is compounding at the rate of 8%. But what if it's a recurring investment, which means that you're willing to invest every year. It's just a slight tweak. You go back to the same calculator for future value. Rate is 8%, NPER is 10, Instead of a present value, which indicates a lump sum investment, you go for a periodic, which is a PMT. This indicates that every year you're willing to put, you're willing to invest a lakh of rupees. Type is one, and here you go. You would have accumulated 15 lakh 64,549 rupees. This is very important to know um, the power of compounding, you know. So if you start investing your money early, uh, there is a very good chance that you would end up with much more because you're giving your coppers that much more time to compound over the years. You don't believe me? Wait, Excel will tell you how. If you were to invest a lakh of rupees over a five year horizon at an 8%, what you bring back home is 1,46,933. But expand your investment horizon to 15 years and the money that you have your amount of investment remains the same the rate of return is eight percent you have just increased the time and you bring home three lakh seventeen thousand two hundred and seventeen rupees so just by increasing the time period you are allowing your money to compound more, therefore you end up with more. If nothing else, this tells you that the time to invest was yesterday. And if you haven't done that, you should do so now. That's all we have from Why Not Mint Money. Come back tomorrow to understand how do you calculate the amount that you should invest to reach a goal, which means you know the amount of money you need uh, after a certain period of time you know the rate of return, but you don't know is how much should you be investing to reach that goal. More on this tomorrow.